Cuban-born, now Toronto-based, Hilario Duran and his band going through their paces at Soundcheck as they prepare for a showcase at the Oscar Peterson Theatre at the Canadian Embassy in downtown Tokyo. Jazz is big in Japan, as is rock, pop, hip-hop, funk, folk, and just about any other musical genre you can think of. The trick is getting heard. To that end, representatives from 21 Canadian independent record producers are spending a week in Tokyo meeting Japanese record distributors. But first, they need a few pointers. Canadian embassy officials brief them on how to do business here, how saving face is important, respect, gift giving. There's even a tutorial on how to bow and hand out a business card. We want to continue to do this. This is a first for many of our companies. So Bruce Mackay is with the Canadian Independent Record Producers Association. But I think it's essential to understand business etiquette wherever you go, and especially in countries where there is a strong sense of protocol. So I think the Canadians here are willing to learn that. How difficult or what kind of challenge is that to get used to the, the actual culture of, of how they do business here? Not at all. I love it, actually. I, I really Musician and producer Pete Cardinale has learned. He's been to Japan many times. You know, that you have to follow the protocol. I, I like that. It just the, the show respect is great. And I find I, when I meet Japanese people, I develop relations real quick with them. The Japanese market for recorded music is the second largest in the world, worth some $5.2 billion a year. And for four of the last six years, Canadian musicians have been the top-selling foreign artists in the country. The Japanese love their music, but why in particular do they buy Canadian music? We went to Tower Records in Shibuya, perhaps the largest record store in the world, to ask Japanese record buyers why. This is, after all, where Avril Lavigne's latest album sold more than 75,000 copies in just this one store. I love Avril Lavigne, this man says, but did he buy her album because she's Canadian? I like many Canadian artists, but I'm attracted to the music first, and then later I find out they're Canadian, he says. They're all here, a promotion for Joni Mitchell, plus Neil Young, Brian Adams, Jeff Healy. Tower Records executive Ima T says it's the quality of the music that attracts him. Many, many people don't care about it. they are not uh, artists or nationally, well, just uh, the just so they find good new music. Back at the soundcheck, Hoxley Workman is up. He's still a little jet lagged, but is looking forward to the experience of Japan. Yeah, this is my first time. It's strange um, coming here and landing, and uh, it was kind of felt like I should should have come here eons ago. Japan is a place, he says, he feels comfortable. And for a musician, a receptive audience is what it's all about, even if it's on the other side of the world. Everybody wants to be big in Japan, I think. John Northcott, CBC News, Tokyo.